In this video, I'm going to extrude a sketch to a surface so that the extrusion matches that surface. And I've drawn a couple of random splines here and connected them. I'm just going to go to surface and create a patch from those two lines and splines. And so there's my surface. And I want to extrude this sketch to match that surface. So I'm just going to pick, instead of distance, I'm going to pick to object. And then I'll click on that surface. And now it's extruded right up to match that surface. If I turn that off, you can see the block matches the curvature of that surface. And you can do this in, in two different directions. Here I have, have two different surfaces. Again, I'm going to go to Extrude, and I'm going to pick Two-Sided, and then Two-Object, and I'll pick my first surface, and then I'm going to pick Two-Object for the second direction. And you can see it's extruded that in both directions to match those surfaces. And I'll just turn those off so you can see that that has taken the shape of those surfaces. And it doesn't have to be uh, extruded just to surfaces. Let's say you're designing something with a tube frame and you wanted a tube to join those. So again, um, go to extrude and I'll pick the two sides. And this will be my first object and the other tube will be the second object and now I've, I've joined those with a tube that matches that same uh, profile and angle of the tubes and as another example um, let's say you have imported a part that has some form to it and you need a block that matches that that form then you can extrude um, right up to that imported part. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm going to pick this this body as the object. Um, instead of join, though, I'm going to click on new body, and then it'll be a new separate body. And if I hide that that original one, you can see that the the block has taken the same shape as that formed part.